Generally, under the common law felony murder rule, a defendant may be convicted of murder if the defendant kills another during the commission or attempted commission of a felony. In addition, some states have modified the felony murder rule by statute to provide that the death must occur during the course of the felony or within the immediate flight from the felony. This limits the period within which a defendant can be held liable for murder under the felony murder rule. In the 1976 case, People v. Gladman, New York's highest court considered the question of whether a killing was committed during the immediate flight from a felony was for the jury to decide. On December 29, 1971, around 8 p.m., Edward Gladman went to the County Line Shopping Center in Amityville, New York, brandished a gun, and demanded money from the clerk behind the counter. In a panic, the clerk handed over roughly $145 in cash and checks. Following the robbery, Gladman walked to the County Line bowling alley half a mile away. Local police then arrived on the scene and sent a description of Gladman over police radio. Less than 15 minutes later, a police officer patrolling the area saw Gladman in the parking lot of the bowling alley. When Gladman saw the officer, he attempted to hide under a parked vehicle in the parking lot. However, the officer stopped, got out of his car, and approached Gladman. Gladman then emerged from underneath the vehicle with his gun between his legs, and the officer told him to place the weapon on the hood of the car. However, Gladman didn't listen, and instead turned, fatally shot the officer, hijacked a vehicle, and fled the scene. An off-duty police officer who heard the shooting used the police radio to call for backup. Subsequently, Gladman was arrested and charged in state Supreme Court with, among other things, felony murder. At trial, the court treated the issue of whether the felony had terminated before the killing as a question of fact for the jury. The jury found that the felony hadn't terminated, and Gladman was convicted. Gladman appealed to the Supreme Court, Appellate Division, which affirmed. Gladman then appealed to the New York Court of Appeals.